Aloha. Yes, this is how I always feel when I'm doing this for you guys. So this is um, Manifesto Academy Court. Uh, we're coming to you guys to give you more insight on what to do and how to lay out a window. You're getting very, very sleepy. No. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get right into this thing, man. So today we're going to talk about the how, right? We're going to do some backwards chaining here. How, how, how? How would I learn? How would I know what I learned this, right? So how would you know you learned this? Because you'll be able to go out there successfully and apply all techniques is given to you within this video. As you can see up top, this is what we're going to work on today. So let's not focus on that. Let's get right into this. All right. And let's look at to why am I learning this? Well, at one point you might want to switch out and get into this trade or you just gonna do some um, DIY uh, on your house or apartment, condo, or whatever it may be. And it's gonna give, give you some insight on how to do it properly and uh, why you're uh, approaching it the way you're doing it. Um, again, you might be in a trade, you might wanna get into a trade one day. You might wanna switch out of occupations and get into the trade and this is gonna give you like quick little buffer, beginner, uh, things you might run into uh, on a job site. Um, in a, in, a, in a particular fashion. Uh, also, you might not want to get in this trade, period, at all. But I have also realized that what we do in this trade, it, it, it goes to everything. So doctors, lawyers, nurses, uh, no matter what trade you're in or whatever you're trying to do, you can use these simple concepts because you might have to do uh, partitions, put up partition walls to sec, uh, separate um, units. You know, you want to do this for, um, again, DIY projects. So this thing actually applies to everything we do. So. Uh, you won't have to worry about it. One time I had an individual tell me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Orange, why would I want to be, well, how is this going to help me if I want to be a detective? And I'll say, well, you know, as a detective, they got to figure out how things started and ended. Same thing in blueprints. You got to use blueprints to figure out where you started and where you're going to end and how you got there, right? So they all coincide in some form or fashion. You just got to open your eyes up and your brain cells to let that sink in. All right. What are we learning today? So what we learned today again is how to properly install a window using the window scale. Uh, you learn how to use uh, the rough opening given by the manufacturer, architect, uh, to get you properly equipped to be able to do this on your own. So today we will learn those things. All right, let's get right into this thing. Real quick, short video, trying to keep it short and sweet. All right, so what you're seeing right now is a highlighted version of this, right? So we got into this because I was wondering, a lot of students and still and individuals still having a hard understanding time figuring out what each one of these things are, right? So by separation, I've separated it so you can be able to see all this distinguishing and give you some more insight on how to get there and what it all means. And again, explain to you these tick marks at the bottom as well to what all these things indicate and give you a better understanding of how we get to there. All right, so first thing we're gonna look at this thing, man, is like this. What is this? This is a window, correct. So let's talk about the components of each of, of this window. This window consists of several members which will also be turned out to be a door. You can use the same layout for this as, this, I mean, these same members is, uh, actually applies to what is the uh, same way as a door. If you look at this, a door is not too much different from a window. All it is is it's taking out the bottom rough seal and the bottom cripples window cripples to make a door. All right. These orange members right here, right here, is called what? Yes, it is a king stud, which helps support the members of a window, which is the trimmer studs, also called a jacks, right? Depends on which palette you're working in or whatever state or who you're working with, they might call it something different. But between the king stud and the jack, they're the same thing. This is a two by four, this is a header. This header might be a two by 10, it might be a two by 12, might be an amber lamp, it might be several things. But again, it all depends on the municipality, um, the state you're working in, also the engineer, architectural designs, and you have to look at the rough, the nailing schedule it might tell you what it is, the rough opening. <clears throat> That's gonna determine what you're gonna have to do for this particular member here, the load bearing. So it's all coming to engineering. Now I'll get back into this right here. These are called what? Yes, these are called bottom window cripples. This is your top window cripples. 
those help support again the rough opening as a vacancy so you think about a crown in your um you have a tooth right you're missing the tooth between the uh, the, the dentist might put in a bridge consider it as a bridge and these are supporting help support the bridge of that missing tooth all right these are laid out on 16 on center these become like i told you guys as you walk into sections they switch terminology which has now become your bottom cripples all right so this is your seal right this is your bottom plate or they may call it sole plate but most i call it bottom plate this is your top top plate right here this is your top plate right here this helps again support the load going joist is going from the top right now you may look say what is these blue things maybe what is these blue things mr Lawrence? these blue things is a, not something you don't see on a job site they don't really tell you about these this blue which is also a bottom cripple window cripple in this case we put the bottom uh window cripple in with extra cripple in there for this purpose right here to help support the rough seal which also give you to uh, help support um the window when you put it install this metal window well again rule of thumb of metal window you need a half inch clearance around it you're gonna run you're gonna add it to your rough opening of your window that blue stud I just showed you guys, which is right here. Boop. And it's not there, right? Because most folks don't put it in there. Why? Because they keep everything laid out 16 on center, which is the X studs. Now, if you're looking at this, you might be wondering which way the layout came. Well, the X determines which way the person came from. Well, from my point of view, I went, if I was laying this out, this shows me that this person came from left, from right to left. They mean they traveled, they started laying out from right to left. So they went from right to left with these X marks, right? Now, there's no need for that blue stud because why? They still don't lay out. Now, these become cripples, the bottom window cripple, but it's still a stud, which is laid out 16 on center with drywall will break. So, but you've got an avoid right here now because now this is a weak point for that window seal. So you have put in that blue two by four um, or whatever it may be for your, in that case, what you're designing to help support that weak point right there. So, and it also gives you ability for something to nail into if you put a siding up from the outside or a drywall from the inside and that window they can sit on that as well and you can be able to wrap around if you do um if you're trying to waterproof you can have the tools to nail into something to have that purpose right there without that having there guys most time you'll literally puncture a hole and whatever you're doing and you'll find yourself can't even screw it off and you want to screw it off and you cannot get to it because there's nothing to support that so this blue cripple uh bottom window cripple it's a key component you should put in there, but most nine out of 10, they're not gonna put it in there because it does not go with the layout. That's the purpose of that, of that in itself. All right, and then I'm gonna get to keep, I'm GM, keep this real short and sweet. These two by fours right here is put up there so it can just sandwich the header itself. So you wanna sandwich the header and give it something to nail to, like this two by four can sit on there properly square and you can shoot into a toe nail it each way down in there also that way this also there here gives a the uh, window guy window girl something to nail to as well they're not trying to just nail into the edge of this two by four so like here you just have more to, to shoot into when you have this flat like this you have just all this inch and a half to shoot into instead of trying to just nail into that side all right so at this point, guys, again, I want to keep it short and sweet. I don't want to bring too much into this. Uh, if you do have questions, you know you can DM me on this one. Reach out to Manifesto Academy Court. Um, we on Instagram as well. And if you have any further, yeah, questions, we could do that. And the scale for this with the, um, drawing is a half an inch equals one foot. So every half inch we went, the draw, the actual drawing itself is that. And the window scale, again, is a half inch equals one inch. That's for this particular reason. This is the um, nominal when you get in the field become actual. All right, we are all done with this several individuals. So we're gonna fade out. Ooh, you're getting sleepier. All right, guys, you know how we do it. I know, I know, I know. Later.